That is one old and busted looking computer. Though once the cover's off, the insides don't look so bad. What do you suppose this gentleman is trying to find and salvage from it? It says right there. It's not the old parts per se and it's not scrap metal per se. It's a very specific metal. A precious one contained in these processing chips and in a coating on so many connecting pins. It's gold. And with access to enough parts, it can be worth it to salvage it. Though considering the danger of the chemicals needed to actually get the purified gold, in most cases, not worth the effort. Nonetheless, this gentleman has been working to collect plenty of scrap, breaking it down and painstakingly connecting each of the pieces that might contain gold. It's important to know what you're looking for. And there you can see those parts all stripped down. It's time to take that stripping a little further. Now dropping all of those parts into sulfuric acid. And those fumes, most definitely toxic. This is not something that should be attempted at home. Just look as each piece drops in the fumes that are emitted. In the end, any non-precious metals, any plastic is broken down, leaving only metal that will need to be put through an aqua regia solution that separates the gold from other alloys. And you can see all of those parts being fished out now, the old plastic scrap. What's needed here is that ball of gold fuzz. Now dropped onto a crucible, a little borax added to help it bond and bind together. When direct heat is applied, just look at that. The gold bonds to other gold. And from all that work, a lovely little pearl of that oh so precious metal. It'll need a little time to cool. It can be dropped in some water to get a good idea. A close-up look now at the end result. A tiny little nugget, definitely worth its weight in gold, but was it worth all that time and effort?